heading out now to a part of the orchard that I have let go obviously this spring. I wanted to let this part of the orchard grow up just for a little whitetail habitat and maybe do some hunting back there on the corner later this fall. Mostly fescue out here but there is some broom sedge and it'll grow up pretty nice by the end of the summer. I did some grafting on some nut trees out here and despite all the other miseries in the apple portion of the orchard have some success out here here's a uh, chestnut tree that had died back kind of an interesting story here this was a king variety Q I N G it was a king variety originally planted here um, I took one snippet off of that king put it over there on a tree that was uh, coming up from the roots. The original stalk had died. The uh, I'm sorry, the cyan had died, and we were growing back from the roots. So I took part of the king and grafted over there on a branch. The original tree here grew back from the root. So then last year, sorry, this year, I took a cyan off of the king that I had moved over there. Something as a nurse tree, put it back onto this rootstock, grafted it in with a cleft graft about three weeks ago and it's grown up really nice. It's about um, eight inches tall here and both of the other buds have opened up and I'm going to clean up some of this lower growth to give this graft more energy. Hopefully give it get it out of browsing height before a deer gets a hold of it. There's the king graft cleaned up. Ready to take off for the sky. Up here we've got a pecan. Well we've got one more king that I grafted on a branch. Um, this was rootstock. This is where I grafted Eaton River a couple of years ago. I did that on tape. You can see how this tree's grown. See all the blossoms that are going to make chestnuts potentially. And here's a whip and tongue graft I put on of King about three weeks ago, three to four weeks ago. And it's done pretty well. And you can see the original stock here. Decent diameter compared to my arm. Grafted it up here. This variety is major. I did all major grafts on my pecans this year. Only grafted three of them. And it's just started to come out. Looks to be rather vigorous. I wish I had done this graft on film because it wasn't pretty. It wasn't perfect. I made some mistakes. But as you can see, sometimes you can get by with mistakes on your graphs if you give them a little TLC. Got another one just right down here. I could have grafted some of these other trees and I didn't. I chose not to do it. They'll be ready to go next year. Wasn't how sure how sharp I was on my grafting. I hadn't grafted many pecans. And uh, looks like I maybe could have done some more. Here you can see another major. This is a four flap or banana graft. And it's putting out some green buds. And I'd like to add that this piece of cyan wood didn't have the best of buds for grafting. Had some faint buds here at the top. But evidently it's healthy enough to push out what it had and hopefully continue to grow. I'm going to clean this tree up. Lastly, another bark graft on a fairly tall tree. You can see the diameter here. This graft takes off at all. It's pretty much out of deer height. And I'll tie it to this stake that I've simply taped to the tree. And I'm going to clean up this branch here to put more vigor into the graft. And uh, perhaps reduce some shading on there. But 
you know of the uh, five graphs I've done out here in the nut orchard I'm five for five loosely still not completely there yet but I think they're looking pretty good over there on the apple side we've got some work to do we'll talk about that later <laughs> 